All right, I am going to make a video on how to install a new spindle on the Great Dane Surfer. Here's my Great Dane Surfer. Excuse the thunder. It's uh, raining cats and dogs outside right now. And uh, hopefully you can hear me over the noise of the rain. But here's the Great Dane Surfer. I already have it jacked up. And I also went ahead and took the old spindle off of the deck. Okay, so what I did first was I had to loosen up the belt in order to get the spindle out. Here's what the spindle was. And what I did to loosen up the belt was to turn these bolts here. And so you have uh, two bolts. Each of them controls a certain part of the belt. This part of the belt that the spindle was connected to was controlled by this bolt. And so I just took my tool, loosened it up, loosened it up enough to where I can get the belt to come from around the spindle. You also have another belt that is controlled by this bolt on the other side of the mower. Okay, so that one didn't have anything to do with the spindle that I was trying to loose, to change out. So anyway, I got it all loosened up, um, and then I took the bolts, here the old bolts, or here the bolts that was connecting the spindle to the deck. And so I went on the bottom side of the deck, using this tool to take those bolts out. And you can see where the old spindle was. Now, here is the old spindle. What happened was, I think, well, I, I know I ran over a tree stump. I didn't see the tree stump. It was a small one in the ground and I ran it over. And then I began hearing a loud noise, uh, but only when I turned my blade on. And so, after doing some investigation, I saw that my spindle was cracked. It was still bolted under, or still connected to the, to, the, uh, to the deck there, but it was cracked. Okay, and this is how this spindle goes on. It goes through the top side, like so. Actually, I got it all wrong. Go to the to the bottom side, and I'm just kind of learning here. But it goes to the bottom side of this mower deck, and it goes up to the top, and then it connects with those belts. Now, the bottom of this spindle is where your blades are attached to. So what I did was. I took the blades off first, and then I, I loosened up the bolts and took the spindle off of the deck. So now, this is, like I said, this is the old spindle. Now I have the new one here. It looks uh, different because this one is the original spindle to this mower. This mower is, is kind of old, so they don't even make these spindles anymore. And as a matter of fact, they don't even sell these mowers. Or, or make these mowers. This, uh, Great Dane has been bought out by Gravely. And so you have the Gravely mowers. Exact same mower though. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reconnect this new spindle to this deck. And once, and this is how it's going to look. This is going to go on the bottom part. Just like I showed you from the last. It's going to go on the bottom right here. This is where the, uh, this part right here is where the blades are going to go attached back to and then once I have it bolted back on to the deck this is going to go on the top like so but it will be on the top part that will go on the top part of the deck and then I'll connect the belt back to back to it so uh, give me a minute I got to put this recorder down so that I can get some of the work done and then I'll show you guys how it comes out. Alright, 
I got my new blade in place attached to the to the spindle on the bottom part of the the deck here um, I just put it up there tighten it up tighten it put the put the bolt here on the top the blade went from the bottom from the bottom of the deck and went up through the top part of this this portion of the spindle and I just put the put, put the nut back on there and I I tightened it down. And so now you see the belt still has some, some play in it. And so you want to take the play out of that belt. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here, make sure your belts are where they need to be before you go and tighten it. So all of them, all of the parts of the, every portion of the belt is around where it should be. And also here in the back. Make sure it's around there. And so I am going to tighten down. And hopefully I got the right tool here. Yep, right tool. So I'm going to go back and tighten up the belt. Actually, I've been, I was loosening it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Try this again. Alright, still it tightening. And also, take the time to clean the top portion of the deck as well. This is my money maker. Got to make sure that she's taken care of so that she can take care of me. There's not one yard that I have that I don't use this lawnmower on, so you can imagine I can't have too much downtime with this with this lawnmower. All right, this is pretty tedious. I want to show you guys that taking the the slack out of see now this thing is not wiggling around so it's taking the slack out of this lawnmower and I don't think that I want it too tight so I'm loosening it just a little bit I don't want it running too tight You don't want your spindles jumping around on you. Check the other belt, see how tight it is. Kind of give you an idea of how tight they should be. All right, I think that's good enough. So what I'm going to do now is let this thing down. I still have to change out the blades, the other blades on the lawnmower. But what I'm going to do is let it down off of the jack and turn the blade on and, and hopefully everything is, is running smooth. All right.